Oh man, we got a whole bunch of Stinger products out here we're gonna be reviewing right now. All right, so if you've been following me on any social medias, uh, especially Instagram, you guys have known and seen that I've got a few Stinger safety glasses, sunglasses, ballista glasses, whatever you want to call them. Whatever we're calling them this week, we got uh, quite a few pairs of these. We are going to be doing some portrait testing on them, ballistic testing, shotgun, I'll show you the cool features of these ballistic glasses. Let's get into it. So by random, I just grabbed one of these. We're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing. These are how all of these come, okay? So you're gonna open it up, boom. You're gonna get this cool, soft, kind of a hard case, more than a soft case. You're gonna open it up, and it's got this cool little clip. You guys could clip this onto things, your backpack, your belt. Uh, before I get too far into it, I just wanna show you guys. I got a little, uh, little loop right there. I could clip it in right there if I needed. Boom, they're ready to go. So, very nice. You guys get this nice, soft, padded case. It's got a little bit of good protection to it. Not that they need them. I'm gonna show you guys some really cool shit with these later. So, you're gonna open them up. You guys are going to get your soft cover cloth case with them. You guys are going to get a lens cleaning cloth. You guys are going to get a lanyard to uh, put them on if you guys prefer that. And then inside your case is if you guys decide to order more lenses, there's this little cubby right here. So you guys can put your lenses inside there if you want. So what we got are the Ridge safety glasses. Now, I'm not going to say these are uh, these things pop out. The lens pops out really easy because I'm going to show you guys. I mean, these things are made very, very tough, very durable. Oh, and uh, they go just the opposite if you want to do that. They're scratch resistant. Um, very, very cool safety glasses. They need to replace the lens. They do, they are a little bit hard to pop out, but I can pop them out and put them right back in. Their safety rating is a Z87 safety rating. Safety ballistic rated. Uh, you guys, I've seen videos of these being shot with shotguns. We're gonna do that a little later. We're gonna do a lot of cool torture tests on these. Right now, we're gonna do this. All right, you guys just saw what we did. Boom, there it is. Let's go ahead and see if we can get these clean. Lens cleaning cloth, here we go. Boom, holy crap, that cleaned up almost perfectly. These things held up great. All right, let's try something else here. Because oh, as you guys know already, these pop out uh, not really the easiest, but Let's see if we can break that lens. Can't break it. We did get a scuff on it, and it did take that much force to be able to get that on there. Holy crap. I did get a little deformation in it. Now, granted, I am in a little concave there on the rock, but we sent that thing flying. We got it right there on the edge. I don't think that's going back in. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it will. It did. It fit. Yes, it did. I was able to get the lens back in there, but I would use them for this. Holy cow. You guys just saw how we drove over these and they are still in good shape. No issues except for the ones that we beat on. That's totally expected. Now we're gonna continue this torture test. We're 15 yards away, we got some birdshot 20 gauge. We're gonna be testing out the Stinger Ballistic Ridge Safety Glasses in three, two. We got both lens here, they did very well. Now this is the one we've beat the hell out of and it still was able to stop. It stayed inside the frame, no issues there. We could probably pop this one back in. Yes, we can. So as you guys can see, we're able to snap that back in all the way. Uh, we could probably shoot this again and again with birdshot, no problem. Even the damaged glasses, the lens stopped the glass, stopped the buckshot, no problem, uh, very nice. And the frames return right back to, to straight, right like they're supposed to. These are some, these are some tough glasses. What the hell? Let's do it one more time. In three, two, in three, two, I saw that lens fly clear over there. 
Let's go check these out. We got some more buckshot, and this time the lens didn't do anything. You guys can see we even got more on the side over here, and it just stopped. We did not get any penetration through there. So no penetration at all on any of the edge uh, around the lens, nothing. So great, great job, Stinger. Uh, we're going to finish these off the right way. Okay. We're going to try that right lens, my left. There we go. Let's see. Gun is safe. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can kind of see it. But as I'm walking up, I found the lens, stepped on it right over there. And here's what we got. The bullet hit right here on that lens. It's the, the left lens, not the right that I called. And it, it just broke the frame. That was the only way we've been able to break these frames. These frames are freaking indestructible. I'm amazed. So uh, very, very cool, very good on... Uh, on AT3 Tactical and Stinger. Now go over to AT3 Tactical, pick yourself up some of these Stinger sunglasses and ballistic safety glasses. These things are amazing. Um, very, very tough. Let's go ahead and we're gonna step aside here for a bit and I'm gonna talk about these safety glasses, the ballistic sunglasses and safety glasses. These things are tough as nails. I think you guys need to get yourself a pair of these. All right, so my final thoughts on the Stinger ballistic safety or sunglasses, whatever you guys get. These things are tough as freaking nails. Z87 plus rated. Uh, and then the frames are, as you guys saw, they are very, very flexible. No matter which ones you get. Ridge, whether you guys get the Alpines, whether you guys get the low drag, whether you guys get the uh, high speeds, whatever you guys get, the aviators, um, they are, these things are tough. These things are tough all the way around. Um, so go on over to A23 Tactical. Check them out. I'll have a link for them in the description down below. Or click the first link at the top of the description and it'll take you to all my affiliate links. That's an easy way to find AT3 Tactical. Or the other way you guys could do it if you guys really want a pair of these, not these ones in particular. Or these ones. We are going to give these ones here away. These are Ridge Model Matte Black Blue Lens Frame. So, see right there? That's what you guys are going to get. Now, how are you guys going to enter to win? How you're going to enter to win is you're going to follow me on Instagram. If you're already following me on Instagram, boom. It's as simple as waiting for the giveaway sunglass giveaway. I'm going to put out a banner with AT3 Tactical and Stinger. And it's going to say we're giving the sunglasses away. So you guys are going to want to follow me on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I need you to comment. That's as simple as that. So if you guys want to be entered into the giveaway for these Stinger sunglasses, you to follow me on Instagram. I will leave a link in the description down below. If you guys comment or anything like that on that Instagram post, you will be entered into the giveaway for the Stinger sunglasses. Pretty nice. But I prefer my Alpines. These are very nice. These ones fit me better. I tried these ones at first and they seem to be a little big. Uh, so I went with the, the Alpines. The Alpines do very, very well on my head. The Ridge aren't bad. They're just a little lighter and they breathe a little bit better on my eyes. I prefer them to be more like a goggle on my face, uh, especially if I'm out shooting. Now, I did do some shooting earlier uh, for uh, a company and hopefully you guys can pick this up. But this is their, this is their optic. And thank God I had some ballistic sunglasses on because in that video, this glass kept coming back and smacking me in the face and in the mouth and the eyes and all sorts of stuff. These did their job, did what they're supposed to do, they stopped the glass. And that is going to finish up this bad boy video. Now yes, I probably should have done the video just like this, but fun would it have been, right? So give me a thumbs up if you like torture tests like this. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Consider following me on social medias as well. If you're not subscribed or following me on social media as well, I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one of my own channel. But you should be following me on Instagram, Facebook, and other channels. And you should be subscribed to this one. Thanks for shooting the breeze with me. We'll see you next time.